welcome back to yet with another video on second puc pars diagrams okay from the chapter 2 you can see uh, the ls of fla so it can be asked for five marks and this ts of anther ts of young anther and the section enlarged so this is a microsporangium this is a section enlarged so this you have to practice then structure of ovule you have to explain along uh, with the diagram or sometimes the diagram alone could be asked then a mature embryo sac so this is also very important diagram you have to practice next structure of a pollen grain so you know that the pollen grain has two wall layer that is outer exon and inner intern and you can see the two types of cells that is generative cells and vegetative cells so this could be asked for two mark then diagrammatic view of typical anatroposovule so either the embryo sac will be asked or the anatroposovule will be asked then the developmental stages of female gametophyte in angiosperm you have to write uh, the two nucleate stage four nucleate then eight nucleate stage then how there is a formation of antipodes two polar nuclei large central cell x cell synergists and you have to mention the two ends that is a chalazil and then in the micropylaran and how these are clubbed the eight is uh, eight nuclei seven cell structure that is a mature embryo sac so this mature embryo sac diagram is very much important then the years of development of embryo so you have to remember the fertilized embryo sac after the fertilization how the embryo sac will get uh, developed into a mature embryo this is a zygote then the globular embryo heart shaped embryo and then the mature embryo the mature embryo will have a radical which give rise to roots and cotyledons uh, you can see the two cotyledons since it's a dicot then plumule will give rise to shoot system so these are the very important diagrams uh, and along with that a very important diagram for three marks that is a typical dicot embryo plumule cotyledon hypocotyl radical root this is a embryonal axis then in case of uh, monocot embryo you have to show the scutellum coleoptile shoot apex epiblast radical root cap coleoriza coleoriza is a protective sheath of the root and the coleoptile is a protective uh, covering of the plumule the shoot okay so this is from the chapter 2 i hope it is clear these are the very important diagram students you cannot miss then from the chapter 3 human reproduction so here you have to uh, practice a lot mainly the male reproductive system female reproductive system ts of mammary gland uh, ts of a seminiferous tubules then the structure of sperm ts of ovary so all these are asked direct question for five marks draw a neat label diagram so for uh, your neatness of the diagram will carry one mark and the correct labelings will give you the four marks that is each of the labeling will be half marks that is 1 plus 4 will be there the distribution of the marks one for your neatness and four marks for your labelings that is each of the labeling will carry half marks then the schematic representation of spermatogenesis and oogenesis don't uh, skip this question students either they can ask you the schematic representation or sometimes they can ask you the differences between the spermatogenesis and oogenesis that is one question is sure from this topic okay then you have to study about the menstrual cycle So in this menstrual cycle, you have to remember about the ovarian events, how the follicle will get mature, then how it become repression, and you have to remember about the pH hormone levels that is FSH and LH. If you learn, even it is helpful for your one mark, two mark question as well. If you learn the diagram, so the diagram directly, if you don't get a question, since it is asked in your uh, theory part as well, you can write it. Okay. then you have to see about the ovarian hormones like estrogen then progesterone and when the ovulation will happen and which day then 
the different uh, phases like follicular phases, luteal phase and how the next cycle begins. If you study this diagram, so you can answer many number of questions for your part A, part B and part C as well. Okay, so learn this diagram. This is very much important. Then from the chapter number 6, molecular basis of inheritance this double helix structure dna double helix structure uh, mainly you have to show the hydrogen bonds then how much is the diameter that is 20 angstrom and in one turn you can see 3.4 angstrom and two in one helix or in one spiral that is 34 angstrom so you have to show the 5 dash to 3 dash and 3 dash to 5 dash direction and this nucleosome model this is asked for 2 mark or 3 mark then Meselson and Stahl experiment so you have to write about the heavy DNA and the light DNA that is 15N uh, isotope so here 14N, 15N so this is a hybrid so this is heavy this is hybrid you can see the light and uh, hybrid bands in your daughter generation so this is very important so this experiment can be asked or you can get the schematic representation of Meselson and Stahl experiment then Hershey and Chase experiment so here mainly you have to show the bacteriophage along with that 35S then 32P phosphorus radioactive where uh, 32P will be there in the phosphorus and uh, yes sulfur in your uh, 35 so when the infection blending centrifugation happens you can see that uh, radioactive 35S is detected in the supernatant that is uh, sulfur is not the one but radioactive detected in the no radioactive detected in the super netten but radioactive 32p detected in the cell so that is a Hershey and Chase experiment then you have to know about the replicating fork one is a continuous synthesis discontinuous synthesis newly synthesized strand that is shown in red color and this is a template DNA which is a parental strand this is a Y shaped structure then you have to know about the transcription unit 5 prime, uh, 3 prime to 5 prime direction 5 prime to 3 prime direction you have to show the promoter then uh, terminator and in between that there is a structural genes and you have to show the transcription start site out of two strands one will be template strand another one will be coding strand so this is also comes for three marks then you have to know about the transcription in bacteria and transcription in eukaryotes you uh, in both the case there is a <coughs> initiation elongation and termination you can see the rna polymerase here then rna polymerase and the rho factor here you can see the mrna polyadenylation and the polyatyl that is post translational uh, changes will be happening in case of the eukaryotes then the structure of trna it has a t loop D loop, variable arm, anticodon loop, AUG, and there is a amino acid arm. This one. Okay, then how the translation will happen? This diagram is also quite important. And this lack operand model. This is highly important for your five mark question. So explain the lack operand. That switch on and switch off condition you have to show. So if there is a repressor mRNA, the repressor uh, will be there. So if repressor is present in absence of the inducer this repressor will come and bind to the promoter uh, or the operator region and prevents the rna polymerase from trans transcribing the operon if in presence of inducer if there is a presence of inducer this repressor rna this inducer will go and bind over there so now this repressor cannot go and bind to the operator region so that the lac mrna will undergo transcription it pro it goes for beta galactosidase permease trans acetylase so this is on the open and is on here it is off so this one you have to remember then from the chapter 7 evolution this uh, Stanley Miller experiment you have to remember mainly you have to remember these gases CH4 NH3 H2O H2 and spark discharge there are two electrodes which will spark and it, uh, it resembles the lightning you can see the condenser for raining and here this is a boiling water and or water organic compounds liquid water in trap so you have to show all this and this arrow marks are highly important if you miss the arrow mark you there is a tendency to lose the 
marks okay so where how that uh, boiling water the air gets uh, evaporated sorry the water gets evaporated all those things you have to show this is a diagrammatic representation then from chapter 8 human health diseases the stages in life cycle of plasmodium this is important so they will ask you the schematic representation itself schematic representation this is important and the structure of antibody molecule so this is a light chain this is heavy chain then uh, this is antigen binding site antigen binding site so this is very important you have to see the c and where uh, uh, this is sulfate uh, bonds and all you have to show properly practice this you will get the question for 3 marks directly draw neat label diagram of an antibody molecule then this replication of retrovirus or the retrovirus cycle this is also important this is a direct question you will get for 5 marks then in the chapter 10 microbes in human welfare this biogas plant direct question uh, if only diagram is asked only diagram you can get for 3 marks you have to show dung and water ch4 plus ch2 then gas holder the gas is coming out then there is a sludge then the digester so if it is asked for 5 marks you have to draw the diagram and you have to explain so this is very important either it can come for part c or it can come for part d question then in the chapter 11 biotechnology principles and processes you can see that the action of restriction enzymes how it will happen so there is a vector dna foreign dna then the core one will form a sticky ends then the recombination of the dna so this how the restriction enzymes works that is the restriction enzyme they have taken example is eco r1 then uh, diagrammatic representation of rdna technology first uh, there is a cutting from the restriction enzymes then formation of the rdna and then how it is uh, transformed in the host they have shown so this schematic diagram can be asked for 3 mark or explain rdt rdna technology with a neat diagram so this is also very important then this gel electrophoresis unit can be asked for two mark question for diagram then cloning vector pbr 322 this can be asked for three mark question or explain pbr 322 or the uh, cloning vehicle it can be asked for five mark along with the diagram you have to explain then this polymerase chain reaction schematic representation again it is 5 marks or sometimes it can be asked for 3 marks as well so you have to mention the three steps that is denaturation annealing and extension and you have to show the amplified in nearly 1 billion times so this is important and mentioning of dna polymerase or the tag dna polymerase this is important and uh, you should show that this is a heat because of that there is a denaturation splitting up of the strand and then you have to show the extension step so this is important then the simple stir tank bioreactor and sparge tank bioreactor once again it is a direct question direct question for diagrams draw neat label diagram of simple stir tank bioreactor or draw neat label diagram of sparge stir tank bioreactor then from chapter 12 so the uh, biotechnology and its application so this schematic representation of pro insulin into insulin once again it's a three mark question chapter 13 organisms and population representation of age pyramids for human population whether the pyramid is expanding stable and declining so whether uh, the pre reproductive phase is more or the reproductive phase is more or the post reproductive phase is more based on that you can see the expanding population or you can see the stable or the declining so this is also important you can get a direct question then the growth models like exponential growth curve and the logistic growth curve this curve itself this graph is asked for you so this is also direct question and here you have to show in the x axis you can see the population density in case of n and in the y you have uh, sorry in the x you can see the time 
and in case of the y so this is a x axis and this is a y axis you can see the time you have to show the arrow mark so which axis you are depicting what and mentioning this dn by dt is equal to rn and dn by dt is equal to rn into k minus n by k so this is important you have to mention it then from the chapter 14 ecosystem so here you have to show about the pyramid of grassland eco uh, ecosystem pyramid of energy and the pyramid of uh, biomass so this is direct question you will get for diagram then the carbon cycle and phosphorus cycle once again it's a schematic representation next from the biodiversity and conservation chapter number 15 this species area relationship so you have to mention about the in the x axis area is given and in the y axis species richness is shown and you can see the curve and you have to mention the equation <laughs> properly and in the last chapter environmental issues clean air dirty air so you, these things you have to show for the electrostatic precipitator and electrostatic precipitator this is a first scrubber so direct scrubber can be asked for three marks or explain the electrostatic precipitator with a neat label diagram so here you can get the diagram plus explanation for five marks okay you have to show the discharge corona negatively charged by clean air collection plate and dust particle so this is a electrostatic precipitator i hope this video was useful for you uh thank you for watching till the end those who are new to my channel please to subscribe so that you don't miss any updates regarding the board examination as well as the competitive examination i see you next time